This is part 12 of C programming tutorial. I am Arjun. In our previous session, we have discussed about what is variable and how to declare, define and initialize a variable. I have given the link to this video in below description. If you didn't watch this video, please watch it and come back to this video. In this video, we will discuss about what is local and global variables and their scope and lifetime. Based on the scope and lifetime of a variable, we categorize the variables into two types. They are local and global variables. Before we discuss what is local and global variables, let's take a step back and understand what does it mean by scope and lifetime. Scope tells about visibility, whereas lifetime tells about durability of something. Let me show an example. Notice here we have two things. One is an Eiffel Tower and other is a small building. When I speak about scope, that is visibility, the visibility range of this Eiffel Tower is around 70 km, whereas the visibility range of this building X is around 1 km. So we can say that the scope of this Eiffel Tower is just 70 km, whereas the scope of this small building is around 1 km. Meaning if you go out of this scope, these things are not visible to you. Coming to lifetime, the durability or expiration time of this Eiffel Tower is around 200 to 300 years, whereas coming to this building X, it is around 70 to 100 years, meaning beyond this lifetime, these buildings may not be present. Remember, scope tells about visibility, whereas lifetime tells about durability. Now, let's discuss about what are local variables. Variables that are declared inside a function is called local variables. The scope of these local variables is throughout the block and the lifetime of these local variables is throughout the function. Let me write a simple example to understand much better about local variables. Open your code blocks IDE. Let me declare a variable here. Let's say the name of this variable is value and its data type is int. As I said earlier, if we declare a variable inside a function, then it is called a local variable. So we can say that this variable is a local variable and the scope of this local variable is throughout the block, meaning we can access this local variable from inside this block. If you try to access this local variable from outside this block, then we will get a compilation error. Let's see an example. Here I am going to create a new block and I am declaring a variable inside this block. Now I will try to print this variable inside this block. Let's see whether we are able to access this or not. Compile and execute the program. See we didn't got any compilation error here. Now let me try to access this variable from outside of this block. I am moving printf statement to outside of this block. Compile and run. See we got a compilation error here. Here the error is variable undeclared meaning we have not declared this variable. This is what compiled is telling us. But we have declared this variable, right? Being a local variable, the scope of this variable is inside this block. So if we try to access this variable from outside the block where we declared it, then it will throw an undeclared error. Coming to the lifetime, the memory will be allocated for this local variable when the execution of this function gets started. And it becomes invalid once we finish the execution of this function. Now. Let's see what does it mean by global variable. Variables that are declared outside of a function is known as a global variable. Without any storage class specifiers, the scope of this global variable is throughout the file. Meaning we can access this global variable from all the functions in a file which we declared it. And the lifetime of this global variable is throughout the program. Meaning when we start executing the program, then the memory will be allocated to the global variables and that memory will get destroyed once we finish the execution of a program. Let me write a simple program by using a global variable. Here I am declaring and initializing a variable outside a function. Now let's see whether we are able to access this variable from inside the function. See we can. Remember if we want initialize any value to a global variable, 
it will be initialized to its default values. The default value for integer type is 0, whereas for floating point type, it is 0, 0.0. If both local and global variables have same name, then here we have two cases. In first case, if both of them are in scope, then local variable will get modified. Whereas only if global variable is in scope, then global variable will get modified. Look at this example. Here we have two variables. One is a global variable and the other is a local variable. If you notice, both the variables have same name. Here I am trying to add 10 to this variable. Now which variable will get modified? Local or global? At this point, we have both local and global variables are in scope. As per case 1, local variable will get modified. If local variable gets modified, then the output we are expecting is 20. Let's compile and execute this program. See, we got 20 inside main. Now look at this, here we have one more function. In this function, I am trying to subtract 10 from this variable. Notice in this function, we didn't have any local variables and the local variable which is declared inside main function is not visible in this function. We have only one global variable in a scope. As per case 2, if we don't have any local variables in scope, then global variable will get modified. So, the output we are expecting is minus 10. Let me print this value. See, we got minus 10. Let's see few snippets to understand more in depth about local and global variables. If I execute this program, I'll get variable undeclared error because we can access the local variable from the point where we declare to the end of the block. That is, we can access this local variable in between this. We cannot access it outside. See here, we are trying to access the variable before we declare it. So, that's the reason why we get variable undeclared error. Multiple declarations of local variable is not allowed. See here, we have declared two local variables with the same name. When we compile this, we will get a compilation error. The scope of global variables also starts from the point where it is declared. For example, here I am trying to access this global variable inside main function. But I have declared this global variable at bottom. If I compile this program, I will get variable undeclared error because the variable is declared after its usage. Redefinition of global variables is not allowed. Meaning, if we try to define the global variable more than one time, then we will get redefinition error. Let me compile and execute this. See, we got redefinition error. Here, we have initialized the global variable with 10. Again, we are trying to redefine the variable with value 20, but it is not allowed in C. So, we got redefinition error. We cannot directly assign one global variable to another global variable. For example, here I am trying to assign one global variable to another global variable. If I execute this program, I will get a compilation error. These are the few things that we should keep in mind while using variables in our program. Let's see a quick summary on what we have discussed today. Variables that are declared inside a function is called local variables and variables that are declared outside a function is called global variables. Local variables has block scope and the lifetime is throughout the function. Whereas global variables has file scope and the lifetime is throughout the program. These are the few rules that we should keep in mind while using variables in our program. That's it in this session. If you like this video, please click on like button and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for listening. See you later in next session.